In the concealed recesses of Dublin, an infamous syndicate referred to as the Family has clandestinely established a dominion, exercising ruthless control over Ireland's narcotics trade. As the Kinahan cartel garnered infamy and attention, the Family astutely seized the opportunity to ascend as the nation's preeminent drug lords. Their extensive connections to Eastern European traffickers, coupled with an insatiable appetite for wealth, now afford them mastery over a multi-million euro enterprise, flooding Ireland with drugs at an alarming pace. Join us as we delve into the enigmatic underworld of this criminal organization and unveil the astonishing narrative behind the family's meteoric ascent to power. In a bygone era, the Kinahan cartel once reigned supreme in Ireland's drug market. However, their global aspirations and recent crackdowns on their operations have significantly weakened their local influence. Concurrently, the family silently consolidated their power, capitalizing on the tumultuous aftermath of the Kinahan hutch feud, which left a grim tally of 18 deaths and more than 80 gangsters incarcerated. This feud has further enhanced the family's position as the spotlight shifted away from their rivals. The family has firmly established itself as Ireland's foremost supplier of heroin, with an expansive network spanning from Dublin to Cork. Their operation operates with precision, forming strategic partnerships with Eastern European drug traffickers to ensure a consistent influx of narcotics into the country. What sets them apart is their distinct approach, which diverges from the tactics employed by groups like the Kinahans. Unlike the flamboyant and confrontational style of their counterparts, the family prefers to operate discreetly from the shadows. Their niche lies primarily in heroin, but they've recently ventured into the cocaine, ketamine, and MDMA markets. They actively steer clear of the more violent aspects of the drug trade. Under the leadership of Brian Grendon, a methodical and composed criminal mastermind, the family has learned valuable lessons from past mistakes. They understand that media attention, violence, and feuds pose existential threats to their thriving enterprise, and as such, they meticulously avoid such entanglements. While suspicions have swirled regarding their involvement in the murder of Gary Carey, the family remains committed to avoiding open conflicts, focusing unwaveringly on their relentless pursuit of wealth. The core strength of the family resides within its tightly woven inner circle. At its heart are Brian Grendon and his elder sibling Philip, both originating from the gritty precincts of West Dublin. Alongside them, a dozen steadfast associates strategically spread throughout Dublin form the bedrock of this criminal syndicate. Over the course of two decades, they have diligently erected their criminal empire. Brian, a seasoned criminal endowed with astute business acumen, maintains a resolute focus, steering clear of drug consumption. In stark contrast, Philip grapples with bouts of paranoia and disorder, a vulnerability deftly exploited by the family. They harness these weaknesses to recruit drug addicts as an economical labor force, providing them with complementary cocaine and heroin to maintain control. This network of addicted individuals serves as a protective barrier, bearing the brunt of legal ramifications during law enforcement searches. While the gang members have witnessed a steady increase in affluence over the years, the family has not remained unscathed in their encounters with law enforcement. Nevertheless, these setbacks have failed to deter their resolute pursuit of their ambitions. Brian Grendon is a hands-off figure, renowned for his keen surveillance instincts and risk-averse approach. According to reports, his gang employs dozens of disposable cell phones on a weekly basis, which are constantly replaced to evade detection. Gang members rigorously adhere to a code of silence, refraining from discussing their criminal involvement while operating their vehicles. They even engage in counter-surveillance measures. In 2001, the then 25-year-old Brian Grendon first garnered attention when he was apprehended in possession of nearly 2 million euros worth of heroin, resulting in a lengthy prison sentence. However, upon his release, he wasted no time in re-establishing his criminal enterprises, ultimately ascending to the position of the country's most prominent heroin dealer. In contrast, Philip encountered legal troubles several years later in Spain, in 2014. He was residing in a Valencia hotel with two suitcases containing a staggering 3.8 million euros worth of cocaine. Paranoia gripped him as he became convinced that rival criminals were closing in on him. In a frantic bid to protect his stash, he threw one of the suitcases, filled with cocaine, out of the window. However, his attempt at evasion went awry when he lost his key card and locked himself out of his room. He was subsequently discovered by the police standing outside his room, clutching the suitcase full of cocaine. These actions ultimately resulted in a seven-year prison sentence for Philip. 
Law enforcement agencies intensified their efforts to dismantle the family's criminal empire through a series of raids. These operations resulted in the seizure of substantial quantities of drugs, cash, luxury watches, and high-end vehicles. One noteworthy incident occurred in 2015 when Jason Rowe, a father of four, had his house raided, leading to the discovery of over 3 million euros worth of drugs and firearms. While Rowe took responsibility, it was evident that all these illicit goods were under the control of the family. Significant arrests, such as that of Darren Hoey, the gang's chief financial operator, exposed the vast sums of illicit funds circulating within their operation. Despite these setbacks, the family persevered, expanding their network and forging connections with Eastern European suppliers. They also laundered their profits through the second-hand car industry. A major breakthrough occurred in 2020 when law enforcement uncovered an operation linked to the family, resulting in the seizure of a staggering 4 million euros in drug money. Darren Hoey, the gang's financial mastermind, was apprehended, and his residence, along with a cottage, was raided. Investigators discovered a hidden compartment in Hoey's Audi, designed to transport and conceal large sums of cash. This 4 million euro seizure marked the largest in the state's history, underscoring the magnitude of the family's illicit activities. However, the discovery went beyond mere cash. A secret ledger was also unearthed, directly linking it to the family. This ledger revealed that the gang had engaged in an astonishing 17 million euros worth of drug transactions in just three months, providing authorities with unparalleled insight into the extent of the family's operations and their enormous profits. In the preceding year, it became apparent that the family had forged ties with none other than the Turkish Mafia, with plans to flood Ireland with heroin. This endeavor ultimately faltered, leading to the seizure of 1 million euros worth of heroin at a BNB in Ireland and the incarceration of two Turkish crime bosses. Despite these setbacks and ongoing investigations, the family exhibited no signs of slowing down, with their success deeply rooted in their adeptness at laundering illicit money. They have ingeniously devised innovative methods for laundering their ill-gotten gains and have gained control over numerous enterprises spanning various industries, from veterinary services to the motor trade. Recent revelations have shed light on the magnitude of their money laundering operations. Estimates suggest that they were clandestinely funneling as much as 120 million euros of illicit funds out of Ireland annually. This translates to an astonishing 10 million euros each month, and it's essential to note that this represents only a portion of the funds they aim to launder. The remainder of their profits was either retained in Ireland or reinvested to bolster their drug trade. These staggering figures lay bare the immense scale of their drug-related profits, with an estimated 20 million euros in drug profits generated every month. The family's ambition appears limitless as they persistently expand their criminal enterprise. Their amassed wealth is strategically reinvested to secure a consistent drug supply and extend their market dominance. Remarkably, while doing so, the family has made conscious efforts to distance themselves from gangland feuds and violence, emphasizing their focus on the business aspect of their operations. While the family diligently worked to distance themselves from association with criminal acts, they were unable to entirely sever such connections. One incident, in particular, cast a lingering shadow over their reputation. The murder of Gary Carey in July 2022, allegedly orchestrated by the family, Carey, a convicted drug dealer, fell victim to a brazen ambush outside the Hilton Hotel, succumbing to his injuries weeks later. Law enforcement suspected that Carey's murder was a consequence of his efforts to encroach on the family's operations, particularly those tied to D.D. O'Driscoll a convicted criminal and associate. The family's involvement in this high-profile assassination underscored the lengths to which they were willing to go to safeguard their empire. The ongoing battle between law enforcement and the family continues to unfold, with recent developments dealing a significant blow to the gang. During the previous year, Brian Grendon, the mastermind behind the multi-millionaire operation, found himself among a group of individuals apprehended in a series of well-coordinated raids. The authorities uncovered a cache of cash totaling 30,000 euros at Grendon's residence in Clondalkin, in addition to discovering 700,000 euros at various other locations. The extensive operation included the search of 24 premises, during which an additional 200,000 euros was found concealed in a car en route to Northern Ireland. The gang's opulent lifestyle was further underscored by the discovery of luxury watches and high-end vehicles. While Brian Grendon is currently out on bail, the legal case against him remains open. 
This development represents a pivotal moment in the ongoing efforts to dismantle the family's expansive criminal network. That concludes today's video. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the topic, so please feel free to share them in the comments section. If you found this video informative or engaging, don't forget to show your support by liking the video and subscribing to our channel to stay updated on our upcoming content. Thank you for watching.